La Posada Encantada, the Enchanted Past. Hmm. So we're gonna check out this little trail out of our campground here near Cloudcroft and see what it's all about. So they have this really nice trail in the campground, but what's really nice about it is it is made for visually impaired. So these bumpers on the side are to help guide people on the trail. And then when you get to the interpretive signs, there are these piles of rocks on the trail that uh, signify that there's a sign. And then the signs are uh, in regular print, but it's also, it's hard to see. But down here is all braille. So it's very cool. I really like that. I think it's important for everybody to be able to get out and experience nature. And here they've uh, set aside a trail, especially for visually impaired. Not only are the signs in Braille, but they have other kind of uh, ways for people to experience nature and understand nature, uh, like this raised panel about leaves. Very interesting. Another cool feature of the uh, trail is every sign has a distance. I'm not an expert on how visually impaired people travel, but I'm guessing that they are very good at judging distance because every sign says how far the next sign is. Just came across a whole bunch of bones that people have collected, probably an elk met his demise here. I'm not a, is it an osteologist? I don't know, whatever it is, I'm not a bone expert, but I do know that there we have like a shoulder bone or a clavicle. There's a rib, one of the big leg bones. This is a spine. Uh, you can see, see that this is probably near the back of the spine like near the tail, more ribs, cool little find. So this is neat, the, the sign is in almost braille, if you will. So when you feel the heart, you know where you're at. So we've come up here, come here, and we're almost halfway. I would imagine that someone who has trouble seeing would have an especially difficult time uh, identifying fossils. But what's cool here is they have some examples of fossils. And then on these rocks right here, they've moved some rocks that have fossils like right here. There's one, there's one. I'm really enjoying this little trail. One of the cool things about this trail is it really focuses on uh, sound and your sense of touch. And to be honest, sense of touch is not something that I use to experience nature very much, but maybe it's something that I should do more. Uh, because it is a an interesting experience and I've actually learned some things on this hike by using my sense of touch. I can hear about four different birds right now. Really glad I found this little trail out of Sleepy Grass Campground. It was an interesting way and a new way for me to see nature, and I really appreciate the work that the Forest Service put into it.